So I don't know if y'all have noticed, but smaller guards really are not for me. This might sound dumb, but when I'm on the court on a smaller guard, I just feel so tiny, man. But you know what? I decided why not step out of my comfort zone? Why not make a smaller guard? And when I tell y'all smaller guards are really good this year, I mean, y'all probably already knew that, but I'm just not finding this out. They're really good. Like, I made a 6'4 point guard. I'm going to call this my Rondo build. This build is really, really good. 94 pass accuracy, 92 perimeter, 80 driving lip, 91 three. Like, this build is crazy. I can't wait to show y'all. But y'all already know the drill, man. I'm going to show y'all some clips over the stats, of course. So, let's get to it, man. All right, man, so you're going to want to go 6'4", 225 with a 6'10 wingspan, and that wingspan is going to be crucial. Now, I said in the intro, 80 driving layup, and y'all probably like, that's not that high. Hey, I ain't going to lie, bro. 6'4", Trey Young layup package? Oh, my God. It's easily one of the best in the game for smaller guards. I've also heard about Jordan Poole. I might uh, use that one, but Trey Young layup package is just so beautiful, but Trey Young has always had just really good animations for small, smaller guards. His floater is just so magical in this game. It, it just it looks so be beautiful. And not to mention, man, I be laying niggas, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. As long as you don't take stupid contested layups, bro, and even contested layups, you can still make. Because this build got some some strength to it, man. Like 225 for a 6'4 point guard, that's a, that that's on the heavier side for someone who's 6'4". So you can definitely lay someone, let's say, if you're going, going up against a 6'1 point guard. And the one thing I love about this build, because I'm 6'4", I'm usually at the point guard. I can't stand making a point guard build when, I, when I'm at the two, two guard. That's the one good thing about a 6'4 point guard, because with a 6'7 point guard, I'm on the, at the two guard. I'm like, at that point, what's the point of me having a high pass accuracy at the two guard? That's how I feel. And I don't know if y'all been able to tell, but the spin layups, the Euro steps, just everything about Trey Young's package is, is just crazy, bro. It is crazy. Like, it looks so beautiful so so beautiful and like i said earlier as long as you don't go up against a seven foot defensive anchor you'll be fine man and even some contact will, will not hurt so do not be scared to, to slash on this, this build now only reason i went so low is because of course i wanted to be more well-rounded defensively and offensively too but because i was getting sick of making point guards that can't play defense man a 75 perimeter defense not gonna cut it 85 is good but man i want to go higher now, the shooting on this build, I had to really step out of my comfort zone, bro. Y'all know me. I love my midis. Usually, for most of my builds, I have a higher midi than a higher three. But I was like, you know what? Let me just change it up completely, bro. Let's just let's just switch it up, man. 93-pointer, 99 free throw. I know it's a bit OD, but I'm playing wreck. I don't give a fuck. Then at 83 mid-range, I'll be honest. I was surprised at how easy it still is to, to green midis. Now, the thing about the three, I know what y'all thinking. Why wouldn't you go up to 91? Hey, y'all got to think about cat breakers, man. I'm about 85% to start three, and I'm pro probably going to hit it sometime within the next couple of days. So I'm like, you know what? I want to go up to a 93-3 to give me that gold limitless. And then not to mention with the level 40 uh, reward this season being the one cat breaker, I just went up to a 91 just for gold shifty shooter. So I'm like, man, why not? Now, the jump shot on this build, I'll be honest, it, it's a bit ugly, but that bitch is butter. That bitch is butter, man. Fred Van Vliet base, Steph Curry. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'll be cooking up the most randomish, like, sh jump shots ever. I just said randomish. That's not, that's not even a word. I'll be cooking up the most random jump shots ever, bro. But they be butter, bro. Now, I will be honest. Off the dribble, this shot is a, a tad bit hard to time. But as long as you plan on put push, man, you should be cool. Now, as y'all can tell in the clips, I'm not used to playing with a 91-3. A, a 91-3, that's a that's a high rating, bro. You get silver limitless. That's a high-ass rating. I'm still trying to figure out, like, okay, like, like what's a good shot and what's a bad shot, like, three-point-wise for a 91-3, man? Because I don't want to just be pulling up from half court, but at the same, same time, bro, I got the range to pull up from about hash and consistently green, bro. Now, the takeover, I was going to pick the deep bomber, but I'm like, nah, let me just go with the offensive artist, um, which pretty much is like, is like you get a boost on, on like, like, moving shots and, like, ankle breakers. I'm like, that's more of my speed, but... Yeah, uh, 93, 91, 3, whatever. Really, really good, man. Goal shifty shooter. I did my plus one for set shot specialist. Uh, uh, every now and then I do light, lighting launch on Hall of Fame, but I'm pretty much, I'm I'm, I'm cool with set shot, um, if y'all couldn't could tell, because I don't know, man. I like taking just like standing shots over moving shots this year, but that's just because I'm, I'm still not really used to the game. I am, but not really. Like the game, but only been out for what, two months? Like that, uh, I'm still getting used to the gameplay somewhat. Now, I'll be honest, I've been testing my limits lately, man. I've been pulling, pulling up from, from the hash, and, hey, I've been cashing that bitch. I'm not used to having such a high three, because when I be playing on this build, I'm like, man, like, I don't want to just chuck up 85 different shots. But at the same time, though, 
the reason that this build is like so good, bro, you can only be a good playmaker if you're an offensive threat, man. That That's how I look at it. I have to show the defense like, hey, I can shoot that bitch, man, guard up. That way it opens up shots for my uh, other teammates. That's enough of me yapping about shooting up. Let's get to the playmaking. This is easily my favorite part of the build. Now, every year, every 2K, I like to just test and see. Is, 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 is a high pass actually really worth it for real? Like... Because some games, it's just, it's just not, man. Like, 2K22, not the best game for a high pass accuracy. This year, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I don't think it's worth it. That's just me, though. I don't think playmaking, I said playmaking, passing is, is that worth it to go, like, a super 94, 95. I think the sweet spot for passing is, like, a 89, 90 max, bro. Like, I'm still throwing some slow-ass passes. And my question is this. 2K, how do I have a 94 pass accuracy, right? And my pass are still getting intercepted. I, I'm not saying my pass can't get intercepted with a high pass I see. I'm saying it's, it's the weather getting stolen. Why do I pass it down court and that bitch is just going in slow motion? That, does that does that even make sense, bro? No, it does. No, it just doesn't. Now my one flaw, j just just towards me, whenever I'm on a high pass accuracy build, I get way too passive. Like, and I've been trying to work on that at the past like three two Ks, bro. Whenever I'm on a build that gets at least like a 92, 93 pass accuracy, at times I tend to pass up open shots just to be flashy, man, just for the clip. Like sometimes it's like nigga, just shoot the ball. I'm trying to work work on that, but at times though, it'd be like y'all know Rec Reynolds, bro. Is it really worth passing to a nigga just who who just gonna shoot a very early open shot? No. Now, y'all gonna say 86 ball handle for a 6'4 point guard, not that high. Trust me, I know. These are my stage right now. I'll be honest, bro. Darius Garland behind the back. Oh, my God. It is so deadly and just quick, bro. I am going crazy. Um, Darius Garland dribble style as well. Just very good um, animation for a small guard. Dar Darius Garland, Steph Curry, and Trey Young to me, they have some of the best animations for smaller guard. J J Jordan Poole as well. Now, I should have showed y'all my six, I said six, animations a long time ago, but here they are. Jalen Suss go-to shot, really, really smooth, man. I know I was really high on Jordan, on, um, Jordan Pools in my 6'4 slasher build. It's, it's just so much good go-to shots this game. I think that's a really good addition they added. It's just really nice, bro. It makes getting to a bucket so much more easier. I also think on the way, I'm going to have a how to be a better playmaker video coming up because i'm trying to tell you i'll be throwing steamers on this build with, with a 94 pass accuracy now i'm i really want to do the plus five for cat breakers just to 99 pass like y'all let me know because i was thinking i was thinking i'm gonna do either plus three to get 93 three and then a plus two for 96 pass accuracy but it's like what do you really get at 96 you get bad but like nothing too crazy I kind of just want to go plus five though. Y'all, y'all let me know though. It's up to y'all. Whatever y'all decide, that's that's what I, what I'm gonna do. At the end of the day though, I still don't think a 94 pass actually is worth it in in this game. Now defense is so good on this build, man. I, I this the highest defensive build I've had in this game so far. I'm talking like per, like perimeter wise. 73 still, which I was I ain't gonna lie, I was a bit skeptical skeptical about silver interceptor, but trust me y'all, it's really really good. Now, I personally love the perimeter defense on this build. I went 92 just, just for gold ch challenger. I'm clamping niggas, bro. I'm not going to lie. And then it's crazier because I, I can go plus one for Hall of Fame on ball minutes, bro. I'm, like, it, it's this build is just crazy, bro. Like, it's just crazy. And he's 225. Like I said earlier, 225 for someone that's 6'4. That's a heavier person. So he gets a move ball on gold. And y'all know how much I love a move ball enforcement. It, it's just so good, especially if. Man, it's, it's crazy. especially if you got a high perimeter. Oh my God, it's insane! Now these are the physicals. None too crazy. You feel me? None too crazy. Now that's pretty much the, the uh, this video for y'all. I, I told y'all I had I had I had another point guard build coming, man. Cause I'm like I'm getting kind of sick of going six seven. When you make uh, so many builds at the same height, they all start to feel the same, man. So I'm like, why not go shorter? And this build is pretty good, man. It's, it's, it's definitely up there and one of my favorites. So that's that's the video for y'all, man. Hope hope y'all both enjoy. I will see y'all next vi video. Peace.